I write to live lifetimes of tailored silk and velvet fabric, twinkling chandeliers and marble floors, pianos humming and skirts swishing, of booming cannons and smoking guns, gunpowder burns and iron blood, a terror I wish I'd never come to know, of ivy walls and auburn bricks, warm lattes and woolly scarves, coffee shop romances and secret dates, of warm sand tickling toes, waves lullabies and dolphin hymns, shells whispering secrets of the sea, of hypnotizing pixels and screens, soaring trains and talking dogs, giving us the world at our fingertips, of today, yesterday and tomorrow, the past I yearn to remember and the future I dream to see, of memories I would never have and places I could never go, people I would never love and things I could never know. I write to express myself in a way I could never do while speaking. The thing about talking is that you only get one chance to say what you want. One chance to create an impression on others. One chance to get it right. As a teenager who has a lisp and considers himself slightly inarticulate, having only one chance is frightening. What if I say the wrong things? What will others think of me? But I can't stay quiet or else they're gonna think I'm shy. Arr! I guess that's why I've been a writer since the beginning. When you put your thoughts on paper or on the screen, you see it with new eyes. Writing makes you stop, makes you think, makes you consider, what can I do to make this better? When you write, there's always a second chance. And yet writing is scary. As the late great William Zinsser said, Writers must therefore constantly ask, what am I trying to say? And most of the time, I don't know. Half of the time, I write just so I can write. People say to write for yourself, to speak from your heart. The problem is, I don't know if my writing is from my heart. It's almost like I have a, a writing persona, eager to present myself as someone I'm not. That's what scares me, that the audience will never see me as I truly am. I write because life was never a tangible thing, but maybe, just maybe, I can figure out the pieces of the puzzle with a pencil and paper. Why I write. I write to free myself from the bonds of reality. I write to forget where I am. I write to find stories that have yet to be told. I write to see new worlds come to life. I write for God's glory. I write to calm, raging storms. I write for those who can't. I write because if I didn't, I wouldn't know what to do.